Shackled in wearing an orange jumpsuit, Mark Latunsky showing no emotion, learning his fate for the crime he admitted to. The prosecutor in Chiawassee County calling this murder and mutilation gruesome. This is one of the most brutal, horrific murders I've seen, not only in this county, but in the state. Bacon and Latonsky met on a dating app, according to police. They agreed to meet up on December 24th, 2019. This past October, during a degree hearing, police interrogation video played in court. We heard Latonsky detailing graphically what he did to Bacon. Police found Bacon's body in Latonsky's Shiawassee County home, December 28th, 2019, hanging upside down with his throat slit. Mr. Bacon was a young man who lost his life far too soon, and unfortunately nothing can bring him back to his family. Now Kevin Bacon's family left with only memories. We are going to miss him, and Chris says and everything will never be the same for us ever again. Pamela Van Horn, Kevin's mother, in the courtroom Thursday morning since Kevin was killed. Her and Kevin's father divorced. Pamela says this has destroyed their family. Do what Kevin would have wanted. Because that's what that he would want his family to be like this, no matter what. Yes, we approve. Old Kevin's life cut short. Not only did Pamela and Carl lose a son, Jenny, their daughter, lost her brother. Jenny did not appear in court today, but her statement was read aloud. Kevin died the world to me, and I will never have another brother like him. The day I learned of Kevin's death, a part of me died of him because he was my first best friend, brother, and protector. Kevin Megan's killer will spend the rest of his life behind bars. He will not be given an opportunity for parole. His sentence is the most serious in the state of Michigan. The court does not find this crime committed in the heat of passion. The court finds that this is a crime of cold calculation. Kevin Megan's death was Mark Latunsky's design. Mark Latunsky appearing in court for the second day of his degree hearing. For two days, the circuit court heard details of the case. Latunsky pled guilty to killing a man he met in 2019. Mid-Michigan House Courtney Bennett was in the courtroom when the judge ruled on the murder charge. After almost three years since the murder and mutilation of 25-year-old Kevin Bacon, his accused killer sat in the Shiawassee County courtroom to hear what he will be charged with. The court finds defendant guilty of first-degree premeditated murder. Judge Stewart says the defendant planned the murder hours before even meeting Kevin Bacon in person. Police say the two started talking on a dating app and made plans to meet on Christmas Eve 2019. He selected the knife because the sword wasn't sharp enough. Latunsky pled guilty last month, waiving his right to a jury trial, a move his attorney disagrees with. And no, I do not wish he had entered a guilty plea, I think that we would have been successful at trial, but we certainly have to accommodate his wishes and respect those. Bacon's family was in the courtroom during the two-day hearing. The guy just gives us, gives us a weird vibe. Bacon's mother and father listened to disturbing and graphic details of how their son was killed, some details they had never heard before. A pre-recorded video of police questioning Latunsky was played in the courtroom on Tuesday. In the video, Latunsky described the murder and how he consumed part of Bacon's body. He said that Kevin said it didn't make any sense because at that time, uh, Kevin was turning, turning his life around. He, was, he, was, he made plans, he, 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 he had some future plans. Bacon's family says their prayers were answered with the first degree murder charge. As for their son's tragic death, it is something they struggle to live with every day. I, I think about him every day. We both do. And um, yeah, he's always in my thoughts. But it don't bring Kevin back, but at least now we got some type of closure. Mark Appearing via video call in the 66th District Court in Shiawassee County, a very still and silent Mark Latonsky sat through an hours long preliminary examination. His attorney, Doug Corwin, painting the victim, 25 year old Kevin Bacon, the man he's accused of slaying and mutilating after a meeting on Grinder, is suicidal. Tonsky indicated that this was an assisted suicide. A defense prosecutor, Scott Kerner, tried to block presenting Not five well. witnesses, three law enforcement officers, a forensic scientist, and a medical examiner to outline details from the date Bacon was last seen on December 24th to when police say his body was found in the basement of Latonsky's Moorish home. He stabbed the victim in the back of the neck, slashed his throat, and confessed to the event of killing Mr. Bacon. There's only one word for that. It's murder. 
Bacon's parents, Carl and Pamela, inside the courtroom, hearing the new gruesome details in their son's murder. My anxiety level is through the roof. Um, I heard things before I haven't heard them yet, so um, I'm just trying to process it all. During the hearing, Detective Sergeant James Moore with Michigan State Police says Latonsky told them after their sexual encounter, Bacon asked him to help him disappear. That's when Latonsky allegedly told police he got a knife and stabbed Bacon. According to Moore, Latonsky also admitted to cutting off Bacon's testicles and eating them. He said he removed them. And after removing them, he took them up to the kitchen. He put them into a griddle on the kitchen stove. Um, he used Leah Perrin's Worcestershire, cooked them, and then consumed them. Kerner says this proves Latonsky lured and preyed on bacon, while the defense also brought up antidepressants found in the victim's system during the autopsy. Bacon's parents admit he did try to take his own life before, but say when they last saw him on Christmas Eve, he was happy and it had been more than a year since his last suicide attempt. Kevin didn't deserve this no matter what, and I don't believe what Latonsky said because our son would never do something like that.